So first thing we're gonna talk about the Nintendo Switch, man. What do you what are your so, thoughts on it? I thought this, I thought the Joy-Con controllers were really small. They're kind of garbage. And didn't like the controller at all. I think the controller is garbage. And I like the screen. It looked a lot better than I thought it was going to. Yeah, for 720p, it actually is pretty good. Yeah. And the game was... The one two switch thing was actually pretty fun. It was really gimmicky. New it was oh, just yeah. all about there. De- definitely not not worth the fifty dollars I fucking paid for it. Cause yeah, that's it's, no garbage. No, that, I thought you oh said fifteen, God. and I was like, oh yeah, fifteen. Nice I would have spent it. Fifteen's a little spendy, but even then, that's better than fifty fucking dollars. That's crazy. Um, uh, I think Nintendo's just rot. Like I think the whole the Switch market, and everything. I think all of it is overpriced. Oh, definitely, definitely. I hope it comes down. Um, but yeah, no one two switch is. Just Terrible. Um, and the other thing, uh, I mean, how does Breath of the Wild control on the Switch? It controls really good. Um, so like I have it right right here. Okay, how do you play? Do you play with? I the play handheld. Hand? No, yeah, I play honestly. I just play handheld. Like when I'm at home here, I just. Or in class. Oh, to- yeah. I mean, I'm in the back of the class on my Switch. Uh, gosh, no, I don't know. I, I honestly don't play it in docked mode. Honestly, I just use the dock to charge it. It's actually just hooked up to my monitor right now. Um, but, yeah, the joy- a single Joy-Con, like, this one, it's in the center it's of so it. It's so small. It's, it's in the center, like... And it's so small. Look, it's so like, small. Hold, like, hold up your palm and, like, like put it on is, your hand. This is terrible. Yeah. Like, I bought, I did buy an accessory for it, if I remember where I fucking put it, uh, to snap the, yeah, right here. I thought, okay, maybe this will make it better for a grip, and these are, like, 15 bucks, comes with two of them. You slide this shit in, and it, uh... Like, in theory, right, it's supposed to make it so you can hold it. And, like, gripping it is is much better like this. Because it's like, oh, it's a controller now, right? But look, the, 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 it's still in the center of the... Like, that is... It needs to be over here, you know? Not all the way over here. Yeah, but it's made for the handheld. It's not in the center. Oh, yeah. A hand... That's... They, I think they sacrificed too much for, you know... Doing everything at once. Yeah, exactly. They should have... I think if they really focused more on the handheld, these wouldn't be as garbage. But... They are what they are. Um, and then, in terms of a, like, okay, so I 3D printed this bad boy. Yeah, I, haven't, I saw the picture, made a Reddit post. So, yeah, thanks for that. That publicity, in. And uh, it needs filed a little bit. Honestly, this I find way more comfortable because they're outer um, than the standard bullshit. Yeah, it this looks thing, better. This is, it, I mean, it, this is nice. It's better than, you know, definitely better than holding them fucking sideways, but... Yeah, the purple um, one looks better. Honestly, overall, as an actual console, it's pretty decent. It's fun to play. It's portable. Um, game selection. I think the awful. biggest. I think the biggest thing is just a handheld console. It, it is exactly. It's a tablet. Uh, you can't. You can't compete head on with other consoles. Uh, but that being said, it's fun. It's like what I the enjoy PS, v, v, uh, PS Vita, PSP, and PS Vita were trying to be. But they weren't yeah. too successful in America, but they were really successful in like oh, Japan. They, they're great. But I think the Switch will be a lot more successful in America than the PSP is. I yeah. think it already is, probably. Oh, I think it's, it it's almost it's almost hit two million. At last I heard, um, sales wise. So that's yeah. Um, but I think the biggest problem is virtual consoles because you know the standard debate, and even Reggie comes out and says, "Oh man, the uh, we we don't worry about hardware, right?" Hardware is not important. It's all about the games. It's about the games, which is partially get what he's saying, but I think it's a little bit of bullshit because you need yeah. you need the hardware, for, especially for third party. And yeah. the Switch is only going to have a lot of uh, indie titles because it's many easy to Switch? develop for. How many? The Switch is sold. How many so far? Um, I mean, it, it surpassed I think one point five. That's not very good. Oh, for first week, it's actually incredible. For first week, I think it's beating out almost every Nintendo console to date. I believe. Don't quote me on that. Um, I I I think the Wii. Uh, okay, actually, I think it's a it's it's on par with the Wii, and it might. Uh, I think it actually might. No, have more no stuff. way. The Wii sold way more than a million in the first week. Did it though? Yeah. You can look this shit up. The Wii's the best selling console ever. Wii first week sales. Do a little, little on-the-fly research here. That's man. what I've been doing. And again, this is—I think the, the the switches are actual speculation. Uh, so it surpasses 1.5 million consoles sold. That was this came out March 14th. Um, and how much did the Wii sell in the first week? You're talking about the Polygon article, right? Uh, yeah. 
I don't know. I know it's on par. I know it's not. Let's see. Uh, it's not gonna be awful, but uh, the the biggest problem I think I think the thing that could have saved Nintendo because they're always focusing Multiple. on the games is they should have had virtual consoles. I mean, the whole point of Nintendo's thing recently has been it's all about the games. It's all about the games, but they didn't give you access to all the games that made them successful in the past. And they didn't even have that many games on launch. E exactly. So you need they had they had. Legend of Zelda, which I want to get, but I'm just going to get it on the Wii U because I already own yeah. one. They don't have any Smash Bros. They don't have any Mario game. They don't have any Mario Kart game. They don't have any... They don't have any game. They, the two games... Bomberman. Like, okay. They're Bomberman. Bomberman, that I heard, is fun. mediocre. Um, one, two, Switch is garbage. Uh, for 50 bucks. It's garbage for 50 bucks. And... Honestly, Shovel Knight's good, but it's for PC. You can get it on PC. Yeah, I, mean, I, I bought it because I've never played through it all the way. Um, Legend I think it'd Zelda. be fun to play on the Switch, but the whole thing is that oh. game's been out forever, so everybody's played it already. Exactly. I mean, they're they're talking Skyrim. About, yeah, everybody's played Skyrim but too. But everybody's played Skyrim. Stardew Valley. They're, everybody's played Stardew Valley. They're doing multiplayer for the Switch first, and that's the only draw to that. Yeah, but what kind of multiplayer is Stardew Valley going to be? I don't know. I it's a farm that much. Sim. Yeah, it's, it, they don't have enough. See, if they had virtual consoles, I could go play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, one of the greatest I, games I of all time. I was really thinking they were going to have the GameCube virtual console oh, at launch. But they don't. But this is, where it brings in, this is where it brings into something else. People want that. That's why they've already, like, okay, it's already been hacked already. Um, I don't remember the guy's name, but he used an iOS uh, exploit through the browser, which is in the Switch. You know, you can't actually access the browser on the Switch yet. But someone used that, and they were able to uh, actually basically jailbreak it. They used it. They used an iOS nine point something tweak, and that gets me excited because that's what the Switch needs. If you can easily hack this and put emulators and ROMs on it, oh, it's gonna be crazy. I like. I'm excited to see where that. Yeah, goes. because it's it's a three hundred dollars really great portable computer. Yeah, it'd be, it's, it's perfect for for emulation. The thing is, the whole thing is, the Nintendo operating system could hold the Switch back. Imagine if the Switch had Windows on it. I don't. I don't know. And I then, think. I think it's more then, optimized for the hardware it has, though, because it. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's pulling an Apple. I mean, here. you have Windows on Surface Pros. Yes, but. How does the Surface Pro spec stack up to the, the Switch? Way better. Way better. I don't know. I more rare. See, if 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 Nintendo can come out and get virtual machines supported and optimized on their operating system, that'd be ideal, and they'd make yeah. a fuck ton of money from it. But. It, Right now, if, here's the thing: Can they do it? Can it do? I mean, you could. Okay, you can. You could run. It, can Nintendo do it? Because Nintendo's kind of retarded. <laughs> I I think they can. I mean, they didn't for the Wii. But their they virtual did. consoles probably like take are pretty demanding. I mean, I would imagine. But I, I mean, mean, the 3DS could do the virtual. Yeah, console. 3D and the 3DS XL could do the Super Nintendo. Um, yeah, I know that's what I had. Yeah, even even up to Super Wait, Nintendo would retarded. be great. Then how come the Switch doesn't have it? <laughs> exactly, that's what it I'm saying. It seems like it should be a port from the 3DS. Yeah, to that's the what Switch, I'm saying. But the operating system should be that much different. Exactly. Um, that's I why I honestly think they rushed the Switch. And oh, were like, they did. Oh man, that's we why have to get this console out on market. That's why they don't have Netflix or any streaming applications. That's why they don't what? have a browser. Yeah, there's no streaming applications yet. He prefaced it with, with st again, Reggie pulled the same bullshit where he was like, it's all about the games, man. It's all about the games. Uh, those will come later. It's like, no, no, you should have had those. Those and are like m mediocre setup the stuff. Fact, like the fact that, that this easy iOS exploit was in the, the browser. The Wii has Netflix. Well, exactly. The, the fact that the, the browser isn't out and there's an exploit in the browser, that, that's already old. People know of this and they didn't patch it shows that it was rushed. They didn't even, they didn't even patch a simple exploit. Like, this has been around for a long... It's an old iOS exploit that they used. It's... Honestly, it was rushed. Not worth... I don't think it's worth the money. Yeah, for someone who, what, spent three hours at a Walmart on launch day to get it? I mean, it's fun. Legend of Zelda's excellent. Um, and just yeah, for that, I'm happy about it, and I, I'm glad that I enjoyed it. You also didn't own a Wii U, right? Exactly. So, it's a Zelda machine for me, and then that's about it. And I don't know what... After I beat Zelda, which I'm like, I'm about 50% the way through, I don't know what I'm going to do. Because here's the thing for me is I I know I'm gonna get a switch eventually. But that's after like, price I, drop. That's after price drop. I'm probably gonna get a switch or something like that. The whole thing that, that means I'm gonna get Legend of Zelda now. But then I'm gonna get the switch and go buy it again probably. In one place. <laughs> I mean, 
I mean, it is a port. So, like, once you've played on the Wii U, you get it, but you don't have the portability of it. Um, okay. But that doesn't really matter, because I don't play games on the go. I drive, so... Exactly. I don't. I don't know when I would use it. I mean, if I'm traveling, sure. But like, I don't do that. I'm fucking a. Co I'm a broke college student. When do I travel a whole lot? Yeah. Um. But I don't know. It's it's something. It's new. I feel like it's cool. I feel like another thing is is that Nintendo, since Japan is so urbanized and city heavy, like they use so much public transportation and stuff. Like they're really huge into the like the handheld market's always been bigger there. In America, the handheld market's never really been that big. Like yeah. handhelds were for kids at school. Oh, and yeah. then when you got home, you played on your console. Yeah. I mean, unless you're That's playing it. something awesome like Pokemon, you know? <laughs> yeah. That brings that me was to like, other That thing. was it. The, no the, Pokemon game. No, no Pokemon game. And and I've been thinking about this a little bit, too. The, the if they... No, that was... I remember they were thinking about porting... There's, like, rumors that they're going to port the new Hawaiian Pokemons. I forget what they're called. Uh, X and Y. No, the new... Or, not, or sorry, not X and Y. Uh, Sun and Moon. Yeah, they're going to port those to the Switch, and if they did that, I probably would have gotten the Switch, because I, I haven't gotten the Pokemon games yet. Yeah. Because um, I want to get rid of my 3DS. I kind of hate the... the I hate the handhelds. Okay, okay, yeah, and... But the Switch is, like, a tablet-style handheld. And, you, and you're of, not like, confined to it, you know? You and can instead of, like, that TV. weird flip thing. Yeah. And I can... Also, the Switch, I can also just plug it into my computer, because I'd probably play, it, like, Pokemon while I'm waiting for league matches or whatever. I'd play a shit ton of my Nintendo Switch. Yeah. So I just hook it up to one of my monitors. I have three of them, and I would hook it up to one and just play it on. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, for a handheld, it's great. Uh, it just it 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 slacks at the whole console part, and there's no, there's really no like, party games that interest me. I mean, Bomberman's up to eight people, but that's not my cup of tea. And uh, Mario Kart's Plus, not even out yet. Con so it's control like, controllers are super expensive. So ex you yeah, seventy dollars. But I did find out that you can use a pro controller, I believe, on, on a PC. A Wii U Pro controller? Um, no, the, the the Switch Pro controllers. Oh. So that's something else. Um, but still, $70 is way too much for that. Yeah. Another thing was uh, I saw in Review Tech USA where he was talking about uh, uh, Overwatch needs to be on the Switch because that would yeah. be amazing. And and I disagree with that completely. Um, oh, I, I'm i fairly confident the Switch could run it, even a dialed-back version of Overwatch smoothly. Um, but the problem is it's an online game. And you don't know what the online services are. And he, he, he talked about how, uh, you know, it's on the go. Having Overwatch on the go would be great. But how would you play it? You need an internet, a solid internet connection. And that, it gets to the point, like, wh where would you be playing this at with a solid internet connection? Like, what, a cafe? Like, wh why not just do that at home? And he also made the argument, too, that it, it, it would be good for pros. You know, all everyone just carry their switch. No, pros are not going to play it on a controller. The, the what, little, yeah, yeah, the small little esports there is, there is, is on a single. PC. Overwatch Pro, who plays on a console. Yeah, it's, it's not one. I mean, it would be cool. It'd be gimmicky. I probably wouldn't buy it because I'd never play it. But why would Blizzard do that though? I mean, I'm sure Blizzard could develop for it, but yeah, no, Nintendo would yeah, have to would, pay it'd, them a ton. It'd cost of money. Yeah, for Blizzard to Nintendo do it. Nintendo would have to pay them a ton. Also, who's gonna want to play Overwatch on the Switch? I mean, I would, I would like to see it. I think it'd be cool, but I wouldn't. It'd be cool. Yeah, that's the whole thing. Yeah, it, cool it would be cool, see. but it wouldn't. But who's gonna play? It? I exactly. No. I mean, it, it's. Yeah. It's yeah. just. No. Speaking of Overwatch, new hero coming out. What's her name? Like um, Ar Arisa or Arisa. Arisa. It's been it's yeah. been pronounced both ways. I, think, I like Arisa. I like Arisa. 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 Same fucking thing. I'm. I don't, she I looks mean, cool. She she was busted in PVE, and they've been like nerfing her constantly. Yeah, they they lowered their clip size. I don't know what did they nerf her or anything else other than that. They, I think they messed with her like shield she puts out on the field. It's the, I, I, right? I, Is that what she does? She puts yeah. Like, she puts she shoots field? a shield. She uh, has a sturdy uh, or whatever, so she, nothing can move her, and she takes less damage. It's kind of like an activation shield type of thing. Yeah. And then, yeah, and then it uh. Wait, she shoots. what about people behind her? Wait, if... Oh, that's actually... Think it's, about it. If she does that to a Roadhog ult, then the pe people could just stay behind her oh, and yeah. Roadhog ult would be negated. I mean, she would still take the, the damage, but yeah, no, it's it's a great way. The I, I'm not a huge fan of her design because it feels like they just took a bunch of stuff from other heroes, you know, like Zarya, Bastion. That's Reinhardt. not bad. It's not a bad thing. I just... Because you, you kind of need those in a game that's starting to create a bigger... Yeah. Real pool. You need characters that just combine a bunch of shit together. Because right now, the one of the biggest things the game lacks 
is tanks um, healers. Like they do tank DPS or tank DPS, and they'll do healer DPS mix, but they mm -hmm. won't do healer um, tank mix. Mm -hmm. It's besides I, Roadhog who self who, who self heals. Yeah, the they also rework like, Lucio. Soldier, though. Soldier has like an AOE heal as a DPS, and then Zenyatta does tons. Of yeah. Okay. So I get what they're trying to do. They're trying to they're trying to switch up the anchor tank meta. To try to push Reinhardt out of the must pick to have a different alternative for Reinhardt, yeah. but I like Daddy Reinhardt, man. I love Reinhardt, and I yeah, don't want to see him get pushed out. But it's ne but it's necessary. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's necessary, which is kind of sad to see. Also, what if Reinhardt gets banned or something? Okay, if you're thinking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're going to the league here, man. Yeah, totes. The uh, the, the champion. Like <laughs> the reason why I don't think Overwatch will do a draft mode is because. There's not enough characters. Yeah, and it, it's not. It's more of each player. Like, a there's position, some. There's some rather... of these characters that can only do like you need this key element in the game, but only like one character can do it. And there's like Zarya and like Ranhar and all this kind of stuff. So if you if you had a ban system, you could ban one character and destroy an entire strategy. Oh, totally. And I. Where think... in League, if you like, you want to do an assassin strategy. There's like seven assassins, dude. I like... think if the game gets enough people, it could eventually go to that. But I mean, that'll be that's way. It takes too long to. I, th they, I thought they were taking too long to put us um, heroes the first time, but it seems like the period from um, the last year, which was the hacker chick, Sombra, Sombra to now, I feel like it's shorter. It's only been like three months or something. Like yeah, they're definitely pumping them out, which is good to see. But they needed to do is what League did for a while. Once it got going, was every month there was a new person, and then they got a shit ton of people, and then they're like, whoa. Now we're going to do, like, every three or four months there's a new champion, and then we're just going to rework people. Yeah, I mean, it's also a lot easier to, to uh, create and balance for League because it is, it's not first person. And there's a lot less movement, you know what I'm saying? There's less yeah. variables to account for. Um, well, League has a lot of variables. Well, players. yeah, I'm saying Game movement, itself. though, you know? You, I think I mean, one of the harder things with shooters is the whole part of a shooter game is that Individual skill level can carry a whole match. Mm -hmm. In league, you can't like one v nine all the time. Yeah, you yeah you you have that whole other layer. Because um, like in CS:GO, you can one v like five your team. Team, team like, shooter game. So if you're a god tier player at a shooter game, you can carry a garbage team for mm -hmm. But in league, you can't do that usually unless you're like an amazing shot caller or something. Yeah, they're uh, the re they reworked Lucio. Uh, I think Where that was today yeah. or yesterday. Yeah, so. They brought in his AOE from mm -hmm. 30 meters to 10 meters, That's but they lot. increased uh, his healing by 50%. His projectiles move faster. He gets a speed boost when wall riding, and uh, what else? There's there's one other thing too. Oh, and his also his uh, his amp it up was just straight up nerfed in terms of uh, his radius. I think it's like 15. I do like it. You get to see the circle. It is way closer, but he heals so much faster. He he's better at longer 50 ranges. Fifty percent doesn't sound that much to me. It it isn't a whole lot. You're right, but it, it he's, is noticeable. He's losing a third of the range, so sixty six percent. But he's is it's getting taken off basically, because he's losing two thirds of his range. Yeah, and then he's gaining half of the healing potential, and amping up's getting nerfed. Well, just, just the radius, radius, just the distance, yeah. Oh. The distance it still doesn't sound that good, especially projectile. His projectile is going faster. Are probably is probably it's, the best buff. It's, it's actually it's actually so nice. I went and played in the PTR. Wait, does that was... change how fast he can shoot then? No, actually, oh. no, I don't believe so. But it, I don't. His healing though is a lot noticeable, or well, that you know, fucking, it, it, his healing isn't very noticeable. Like if does you go it amp in, it up, is it just doubling it? Or not amp it, sorry, not amp it up, uh, his ultimate has got nerfed. Did the... Does it amp it up, just double it? Yeah, with his woot woot thing. Yeah. Yeah. So it's actually not that bad then, because that's 100% more healing at that point. Yeah. So, hey, they're, they're, how, again, much they're still... how much is 10 meters? 10 meters is actually pretty cool. He actually has a ring around him now. You can actually see where, who's in it. Uh, it's fairly close. It's... It doesn't matter, because he... I... In all reality, you should only be able to heal it's, when you're pushing together. Exactly. Like, he should be able I, I to don't heal think it, it. I think it, overall, I think it is it's a pretty kind of dumb that buff. he could just sit on a point and everybody on the point would get healed instead of everybody around him. It's just everybody yeah. on the. Like, I think it fits his play time. style more because you're constantly moving around. Um, yeah. Yeah. The the Bastion buff, which he's getting re nerfed a little bit. I'm happy. Buff? Well, so you remember the Bastion buff that was like almost a month ago at this point, you know, yeah. where he, the Ironclad. They're bringing down Ironclad yeah. a little bit. 
I That's his passive, right? Uh, yeah, when he's in turret form. The He's definitely a tank buster, and I think he's definitely needed, especially if you're going against Orisa. If you like, if you had Orisa, a Ryan Hart. On Overwatch. What? Tanks are the strongest role in Overwatch. Oh, definitely, and that's why I think tanks are the strongest role in a lot of multiplayer games, just because of the kind of world they play in a game. Did they keep people together and the, the whole anchor tank thing that Jeff Kaplan was always spouting off about? Which I love, Jeff Hart. Um, Who's Jeff Kaplan? The, the head game designer. Oh, the bald one? Yeah, no, not the bald one. No. Actually, is he going bald? Is Jeff going bald, Nathan? Who? Jeff Kaplan. Oh. I don't know. J- Wrestle with Jeff, prepare for death. You were uncultured, man. I can't believe this is not. I thought the biggest Overwatch weeb. I'm more of a league guy. I know. I think a uh, problem with Overwatch is it's too easy. <laughs> like I legit think this is a problem. The <laughs> game is it's a shooter game, and shooter games, if you're naturally good at them, like I'm pretty good at shooters. Mm-hmm. Like I played a crap ton of them in middle school and stuff. So. You, you Halo God. Yeah, I was the Halo God, right? I'm good at shooters. I've been playing Halo Reach again lately. Actually, it's pretty fun. But um. I'm pretty good at shooters, so it's not. Na- I'm naturally good at Overwatch. Overwatch is really dumbed down shooter. Like as a shooter, it's super basic and easy. Oh yeah, it's the, yeah. The teamwork aspect of the game is what's hard, and like League, you can't one v five in Overwatch like you can in every other shooter, and it gets really annoying because unlike in League, shooter game um, in League, if you get ahead, you're like obviously overpowered over everybody else who didn't get ahead. Hmm. In Overwatch, if you're popping off on your team, you don't get like a items that buff your character up. Yeah, it, you're missing that that whole. It's uh, like two problems, complex. like that shooters in MOBA. Yeah, I think that's part of Blizzard's problem, especially when they tackled in Heroes of the Storm. You know, they 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 try to streamline it. Yeah, Heroes of the Storm was too if streamlined. You, if you compare Overwatch to like TF2. I feel like Overwatch has a bit more complexity just in the sheer fact they have more people, you know? I think Overwatch has more complexity in strategy. Yeah. But TF2 is more mechanically intensive. Yeah, I agree. The, you, you, One person can still carry the team there, you know? you Just learning the mechanics behind it. Um, where Overwatch, they stray from that. I mean, they, they took out the, the Genji canceling the animation thing because it was... Uh, they didn't want those like secret mechanics, you know, to give players an edge. Where, and I, I disagreed with that. I thought that was something. Yeah, else. that's complete bull. Those like little mechanical things is what you need for a pro scene. That's why I don't think the Overwatch pro scene will ever be that successful. Yeah, I think it's because what that... they're going up against CS:GO and League. Oh, which directly. are huge. Yeah, League. You're not going to touch League. League's solid for a while. Like League's basically got the gun pointed to their own head. Like if it's going to go off, it's their own fault. Um. CSGO's got way more of a following than Overwatch, and for, like, people who are into esports, since Overwatch is so, like, cartoonish and simple, CSGO's more desirable. Mm-hmm. The, the, I think the, the the biggest problem, though, is the, the the spectating aspect of it. Overwatch is hard to watch, opposed it's to... It's hard to Overwatch, watch. or, or, sorry, like, CSGO, you know, it's, it's, it's kind it's of slower. It's simple, it's slower-paced. Overwatch, it's a shitstorm going on, and and they don't have a good way to spectate. If you spectate also, from CS a person, also CS goes fast. Yeah, Overwatch can be slow sometimes, and yeah, like stuff and, won't and, be happening. It takes forever, people, and you're just grinding yeah. off, and it, until you get ults. Yeah, which that was one of their motivations for down like earlier, you know, reducing uh, how fast ults came up. But you have the real problem of just if you if you spectate from first person, you don't know what's going on, and it's really hectic. Like, the tracers zipping around. It, but if you do it from, like, different camera angles, you, you still miss what's going on on, like, a point somewhere. Or it, they just, I think what they need to do is they need to keep working on the spectator aspect and, and keep making tools for that. Uh, I, right now, I see I the problem. That, I think the game is just flawed in design for an esports game. Mm-hmm. It's I think inc- it's an amazing... It's incredibly fun. Uh, fun, but, casual game. But I think it's flawed as a competitive Yeah. I mean... Not everyone can be a pro Genji, man. Just yeah. I'm a pro Genji. I'm pro Genji, man. I'm pro. Been playing Mountain Blade Warband. Ever played Mountain Blade Warband? I have not played Mountain Blade. I see you play on Steam. Yeah, recommend? it's a really good game. What have you been playing lately? Overwatch and Breath of the Wild. <laughs> like that's literally all I've played in the like last week and a half. 
I will play Battle Blade, Final or, or not Final Fantasy. I, I stopped playing Final Fantasy for a bit. We uh, Final Fantasy Seven is just not, not your cup of tea. Yeah, it's not my thing. Mountain Blade Warband. What else was I saying? Oh yeah, League. CSGO. I played some CSGO. Mm. Awful at the game. I'm garbage. We can't uh, all be Paul Tidball. Yeah, Overwatch. Overwatch is fun. I've been playing a lot of Dr. Mario and Tetris on the Super Nintendo, but I'm actually garbage at it. Like, oh, I get man. Up my sister all the time. I also play Street Fighter a lot, and I'm a pretty good at Street Fighter. Street Fighter's the shit. Uh, I'm actually. I think I'm actually gonna go. Uh, I found on a Let Go app uh, uh, a copy of Ocarina of Time for the N64 because I don't have my, a copy of uh, Ocarina of Time. I never actually owned the game. Favorite game of all time. Never owned it. Always played it at a friend's house. Uh, and I like borrowed the game from him, but I found one. And I'm gonna go buy it because I need it just just to have. You know, I have like the. Do you have a 64? Yeah, I have a I look at the the green see-through ones. See, for me, the 64, I never owned it growing up. Mm -hmm. We got a PS1. The PS1 was a, like a, mate, a thousand times better graphically than the 64. Oh, almost. definitely. Like, it was way better. It came out before the 64, too. Mm -hmm. And so we got a PS1. And we didn't even play that very much. I played a lot of Super Nintendo growing up. So when I went back in, like, beginning of high school, the, when I built my own 64, and, like, got, I mean, like, went through Goodwill and Final Parts and stuff for it. And, mm -hmm. um, Bought Ocarina of Time, played it, and it was just, like I couldn't handle the camera angles and the graphics were garbage. Like it was slow, and I'm like, uh, yeah. So it definitely has but, some nostalgia to it. But the remastered version, I think my biggest problem is, is that the new Legend of Zelda's are just not my kind of game mm -hmm. because they're slow, and the old 2D ones are fast. Oh, definitely. You can just you hop from dungeon to dungeon to dungeon. And you just that's why I think Breath of the Wild is is so good is because they kind of captured that. You can go face the boss immediately if you want. You know, you you run around if you want to take it slow. You can, or you want to just jump in and. Beat but the my shit. biggest thing is, is if it's a slow game and there's a bunch of side quests, I like to do everything because mm -hmm. I don't want to miss anything, and then I end up taking forever. Like, like, and um, that's why I don't like playing Skyrim and shit like that because like. There's so much to do that I just want to try all of it and I'm not, not being able to do very much. Yeah. You like, Mountain Blade Warbands as much open world as I like. <laughs> I'll tell you that. That's 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 good. You good, good? Yeah. Oh, it's, uh, Double of Sun Team Liquid. <laughs> Is he actually? Still hot garbage. Yeah, Team uh. Liquid is hot garbage. But I don't think they'll get relegated, so. I don't think. I, don't De think, I, think, I think Double of is dead. I think Double of is amazing player who's just getting money right now and getting, he's taking this as like a little pulling, practice pulling them bitches and getting that dough yeah his girlfriend's pretty hot so oh, that's nice oh that's why he's got garbage right now he has a girlfriend yeah actually it's true whenever players get girlfriends they actually end up going down and see a level yeah i don't think i have anything else man you guys want to play overwatch there? oh hell yeah let's go play overwatch